God entered into my body like a body my same size. It's Friday, 4-19-2024. I used to have a high-pitched voice. When I talked, I, I talked exactly like Michael Jackson. And that made me uncomfortable because people always thought that I was gay. <laughs> Anyway, when I sang, I sang like Sebastian Bach, lead singer Poison, or lead singer Warrant. Got a picture of your house, and you're standing by the door. I don't have it anymore. Uh, Brett Michaels, I sang like him. They all could sing like each other. See him on the TV. Preaching about the promised land Tells me it believes in Jesus Steals the money from my hands Any of those could sing like any other You know I'm a dreamer But my heart's of gold I used to have it, I don't have it anymore Uh, anyway Um this is going somewhere, and the warning is, watch what you pray for, you might get it. See, I wanted to be the number one Christian in the whole world, and I'm the only Christian, so I'm number one, even if I'm last. But anyway, I didn't know when I came to God that God was going to be doing to me what he does. I live a nightmare on Elm Street life, with God constantly appearing. I see nonstop visions, and 90% of those he's teasing to me, threatening me, scaring me. Um, the people that suffer from schizophrenia, they're seeing God. It's him. He will look like whatever he wants to look like, and he'll have the voice of whatever he wants to have a voice like. And uh, it's him doing it. People in insane asylums that feel sensations, feel touches all over their body or feel like bites. or It's God once again doing it. He has the ability to let you see something biting you and the ability to let you feel a bite. Now why would God do all this stuff? Why would God promise in the Bible that he'll save you and he never will? There's only one at a time. If you go back to the Old Testament, there was one at a time. And in the New Testament, I only see evidence of one at a time. The Bible said Jesus had the Holy Ghost baptism. Jesus was a man just like me who had God inside his body. The Bible said God in Christ. Now, the man who fathered Jesus had God inside his body. It said that Mary was overshadowed by God. That means a man that had God inside his body. Yeah, that's right. The other two I see the evidence from is the Apostle Paul and John the Revelator. I only see normal stuff out of all the rest. Peter, surely, Peter may have had it, but only one at a time. So there is a gap there. After Jesus, it must have went to John or Paul. After Paul, it went to John, or it went from John to Paul. I don't know exactly how that played out, but one at a time. Now, you may say the Bible said in the upper room that many were filled with the Holy Ghost. You walk into a church, the pastor says they're all filled with the Holy Ghost, even the people that just walked in. Of course, he's getting paid by everybody that puts money in that plate. He doesn't get every penny that goes in that plate. He gets some of it. Anyway, what are some of the horrible things that God is doing to me? I won't tell you what he's doing to me, but I'll tell you what he did to his servants in the Bible. And if he did it to them, that means he's doing it to me. God called Job perfect. But perfect Job said to God when he appeared, Thou terrifiest me in dreams. That's where Freddy Krueger came from. That means God was appearing in his dreams and attacking him. Thou fill my face full of wrinkles. It means God was ripping and tearing his face. You know how God does that? Tightening up muscles harder than a rock the instant before you use them. 
or if you don't move your face, tightening up the muscles and making your muscles twitch by sending like little electric ball balls. It's what it feels like, a little bead, electric bead being shot into my muscle and it twitches, it jumps. And if my muscle jumps and my mouth corners are tightened, that means rip. Um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, God said to Jeremiah, Wilt thou return unto me? And Jeremiah said to God, Be not a terror unto me. Now you know what this means. God was doing those things that I just mentioned to you, Job, about Job, to Jeremiah. And actually driving Jeremiah back out into the world, back out into sin, to make him look like a fool. And then calling him back. And then doing it again. And doing it while he was still out in the world. God never stopped doing those things. Uh, so that's ripping and tearing face. Appearing in dreams and attacking. Terrorizing. And like I said, I see non-stop visions from God. 90% of them is teasing me, insulting me, threatening me. Um, the Apostle Paul said, Except these bonds, the spared unto life, killed all day long. Boy, none of that sounds good. In the Bible, the servant said, We of all men are most miserable. Is that because God is sadistic, teasing, spirit, you may say, God is love. Well, did God save you? If God didn't save you, that means he doesn't want you to come to heaven when you die. Is that love? Anyway, I'm the only person on the planet that is saved. I'm the only one that will be until I die. And after I die, he'll go to somebody else, or he'll end the world before I die. Because, to, because of the way God was treating me, I gave God a choice back in 2005. I said, quit doing those things or I'm putting online the answer. The answer was, you got to have the Holy Ghost baptism to be saved. And the Holy Ghost baptism feels like a body, your perfect size, entering into your body. And I'm the only one that's got it. And since I put that online, I pay it to advertise it in many languages. Churches are becoming empty. The world is becoming violent. People are falling away from God. People are running from church. Pastors are preaching to a church that doesn't have nobody in it but a camera. So the TV, you see it. Go to a church. The Catholic Church downtown used to have 5,000 people on a Saturday. Now it's got 20. <laughs> anyway, Sunday morning the churches are still full. But the people aren't only there to seek God. Anyway, I'm going to end this video. Have a good weekend.